Okay, so I got home yesterday. I was welcomed home by my housemate Will, uh, my friends Sophie and Alan and Matt and little baby Sophie Joy. Had a lovely time, had a roast dinner, it was amazing. I'm adjusting to being back home back in that right now. Um, so first of all, excuse the mess, <laughs> excuse my appearance, but I'm going to do an unpacking video. I'm going to um, go through all my kit that I took with me for the last 10 weeks that I've been away. This is what I've had with me. Um, hopefully you can see me because I can't, I'm, I've, got, I've not got a selfie cam on so I don't know what I'm looking at. So yeah, first of all, I did actually unpack my tent last night and hung it out to dry because um, it was wet when I put it away. But I'm going to go through um, all my kit now. Right, so, so first of all, the tent. Um, this is what I put away last. It's held on by a ratchet strap and additionally a um, lazy um, hook. <laughs> lazy strap. Used to it all from like Poundland or um, Wilkinson's or something like that. Now originally I did just shove my jacket and anything else that I wanted to keep close to hand under these straps. But then eventually I upgraded. I used one of my dry bags. I had three of these dry bags with me. And what's currently inside the dry bags, which aren't 100% dry, is my Rafa waterproof jacket. I'm not Rafa type of money. This should be about 180 quid new. It was 25 quid second hand off eBay. It is really good. It has kept me dry. No hood, so it's no use for walking around towns and stuff like that. But it's, well, it doesn't so much keep you dry. It's quick. It does keep you quite dry. It's quick, dry, it's quick drying, which is the most important thing. What else is in here at the minute? These are the cheap pumps that I bought just to walk around um, Amsterdam in. My best purchase, my hammock, 10 euros from the cast one. Right. Okay, so. Mango, sold 200, great little tent, really like the design, dead easy to put up, dead easy to put away, tent poles aren't worth 10p, they all were cracked, but I did repair them with sellotape, with elastic, you know, insulating tape, and it did last, so there you go, loads of room to put away, it's dead easy just to shove everything inside this bag, and also inside this bag, I was keeping my D-lock, I've got a kryptonite D-lock, quite a big one. And my sandals in there as well. I'm not taking them out because they stink. Okay. Panier number one. This is the pannier I set out with. And then I bought the five pounds um, waterproof cover from Decathlon, which was a really good purchase because it wasn't too waterproof. Um, so I originally had two of them, I think in about the third video, you see that the um, one of the clips completely popped off on it and I had to go and buy another one from Decathlon. So I have, I've been riding around for the past eight or nine weeks with unmatching panniers. Um, it's an Altura Aaron, it's, I think it's 18 litres and what I really like about it is it's got a pocket in the top. And this is where I keep my small things I need close to hand straight away. So my cutlery spoon, that's like pound land, spoon fork, knife, got a pound, a lighter, uh, my magnesium tablet, which I started using after electrolytes. Uh, never use this. It's a strap for holding your phone onto your handlebars when I use it, but that might come in useful. Multi-tool, hairbrush. Lubricant, uh, some more crap in there. Deet, getting rid of mosquitoes. The most important thing that I need close to hand is my head torch when I'm camping. I think I'll just go back in there for now, to be honest. <laughs> so, in this pannier is where I kept all my camping equipment. So, this is the interesting bit, to be honest. Um, 
everything I need to camp besides my tent is in this bag. And I love them because and it's all been dead cheap and it's all been um, all, the, all the little. So, and I put them away in the same order every time. I'm quite um, methodical about it. That's my biodegradable cup, which was about a pound in Primark, which I drink my coffee out of, coffee out of every morning. That's my tea and coffee in the single individual. I, I try, I hate using individual things. I hate using things that are too much waste, but I couldn't risk having a pound of sugar or like 500 grams of coffee explode in my um, bowl of bags or get wet. And um, I actually have a coffee snob at home, but I, didn't, I just don't mind drinking. If, you, if I'm outside, I'm outdoors and making it on a I don't mind making instant coffee. Just glad I've got a cup of coffee. Got some face wipes so that just stick in there. My towel. I love this towel. I got it from, I think, Lax. Um, travel towel, so it folds down to that. That needs to go in the wash. I've got a wash basket. Um, and it's a full size towel. It's like a king size towel, so I can use it to lie on on the beach. Not that I really ever went to the beach. I used to cover myself up and go into the shower. And it dries really quickly. And it dries itself quickly as well. So you haven't got a big, heavy, wet towel to be carried around with it. Um, right. Inflatable pillow. I bought this while I was away in decathlon and I also took with me a decathlon foldable, not down, it would be acrylic or something, pillow, which was taking up too much space and I wasn't even using it. So I gave that away at one of the campsites where they had a kind of like a big load of camping equipment for you to help yourself to. And this is really good to sell about four euros. Last umbrella I bought in Tübingen. That was Rayen, and that was useful. These are my sunglasses. This is a, I think it's a little purchase. Five quid. I found that I bought them on a whittle. Um, and they came, they came, they look ridiculous, I hate them. But you don't steam up and they come with spare lenses. And one of the lenses actually cracked, so I just replaced them. So for five quid. Can't really complain. They did the job they were supposed to. Okay, this little bag, um, I love this. On the other brand, I bought. I always buy them in the Lake District. It's a little backpack, which if you look at my videos, you'll see I'm wearing. That folds down to that. Hate wearing a backpack on the when I'm cycling. Um, it just, oh, it's just awful for your posture. Um, but this was dead useful to have for just if I was going to go go to the shops really quickly. Uh, that was going around town for the day I had a little backpack but it's not waterproof and what I was doing if I was going, if I was like going shopping in the rain I was putting on my belongings in one of the dry bags which became a pain so in the end when I got to Amsterdam I did I did get a new backpack but I'll just be keeping that that's amazing this is my uh, mattress my inflatable mattress I bought this last year sometime in Lidl and it was only about 12 quid and it is amazing it is really comfy it blows up in about 15 breaths um the only thing is it has got a slow puncture and about twice a night about 3 a.m i have to get up and give it five more breaths and i kept thinking maybe i'll upgrade it but you're not gonna it's really hard to find one that folds down that small and takes up so little space and then i noticed also it says on there three year warranty <laughs> so I might try and take it back, but it's great. It's what you need. It's enough insulation between you and the cold floor, and it's comfy. Another either Aldi or little things one actually might be Aldi. That's my sleeping bag, um, and it's meant to be good up to ten degrees, and it has been. I've been absolutely fine in it. Didn't need it most nights though. And again, what I like about it is it folds down really, really easily, and also it's easy to put away. My bigger um, sleeping bag, which might be in this room, I don't think it is. I've, I've, I've hardly ever succeeded in getting it back in the bag, but this is just really easy to get it back into. And then you tighten up the um, straps and it takes up no space at all. It's mostly space I'm worried about, not weight. My bike's heavy. Um, it, it being heavier doesn't make much difference, but if, it's, if I haven't got space for it, I can't carry it with me. And this is something else I bought, I think I bought it from Blacks or somewhere like that. And it wasn't very expensive. It's a um, liner for your sleeping bag. So it did get chilly. I mean, I probably only used this 
four or five times while I was away, but when I used it, I was so glad I had it with me. Um, so you get inside this, it's, it's a cotton bag, and then you get inside your sleeping bag, and you get about an extra like five degrees leeway there before you freeze. Um, so you have loads of clothes on as well. And again, packs down really small, brilliant. Um, then I've got some bits of rubbish. <laughs> but this was a tin of sticking plasters that I needed to like get adhesive plasters, um, which I bought to keep my soap inside. <laughs> because soap, I don't like using plastic bottles, but I had to in the end really for like shampoo and for stuff. Um, which, yeah, I've got to I tuff this little tin with my lush, you know, it's not left now, lush shampoo. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Shampoo and conditioner bars. Um, because like I say, I don't want to use some of these plastics all the time. But often in campsites, I only had six minutes to have a shower. <laughs> That's when your money runs out. And it just took too long to wash my hair using one of these. Um, but I do use a bar of soap to wash, not, not shower gel. I maybe use this once or twice. This is another little thing. I don't know what I might use it for. What you tell? Uh, it's got a saw on there, it's got a file. Yeah, didn't really, <laughs> could have done without it, but it was there for emergencies. Didn't have any, I mean, I wasn't in the outback. It was wild a little bit, but you know, it was never too far from civilization. A spare inner tube, some spare batteries for my lights and things. A pump repair kit, which I never really used because I just used a new inner tube on the one flat that I got. Yeah. Here, tires for that. Oh, it's broke! Oh, damn it! This fan was one euro in the Stuttgart. Smell like that during the heat wave. It's amazing. It was a, it was a great buy, but you know, buy cheap, buy twice. And finally, it always goes in the bottom of the uh, of the pannier. My little trangia, my entire kitchen. <laughs> um, squat. But yeah. That's the frying pan. That's the little alcohol stove. That goes in there. Put the water in there. Heat it up. Amazing. So that's how I make breakfast every morning. Um, yeah, so I normally also have, well, I took with me a bottle of meths, 500 milliliter bottle of meths. That's how you pick it up. Um, to burn, and when that went out, I could only buy alcohol in um, litre bottles in Europe, which was annoying because obviously that's really dirty, and um, most of the time you haven't got a litre of a litre of liquid inside it even. So yeah, other than some packs of tissues and a toothbrush, I bought a two pack of toothbrushes to clean my chain with. <laughs> I've still got a spare one left. So that is all my camping equipment. Uh, other than clothes, other than food, that is all I need to sustain me for 10 weeks. Right, next pannier. This feels really light. Okay, this is the one I brought into Cathlon. Some in France, uh, or Belgium. It's a, it is a really good, very good waterproof. Huge capacity, that one's 18 litre, this is 25 litre. Um, you can fasten it this way. I run it down like that, and I can just had it like that. Or oh, if it's really, really full, you can clip them down there so you can get loads and loads in it. The only thing I don't like about it is it's just inside, it's just one big bag. So you just lose things in it, Look, and if Something's at the bottom of the bag. We've not got much chance of getting it. Right. So what I did was when I when I swapped it from the other pannier, the things that I thought were my emergency things that I'm going to need all the time, I put into this little dry bag and kept to the top. And I barely ever opened this. I don't even remember what is inside it. I never actually needed them. Cable ties. I used one. Um, it's an inner tube. This um, what's it called like a like a cycle clip for when it's raining, but I never wore long trousers. Um, some hand gel. Oh, oh and you are some sort. 
yeah, junk basically. I didn't need anything out there in the end. Actually, I might get to the bottom of it and find there's something really, really useful in there. This little makeup bag is where I kept all my leads and cables, my headphones, my charging leads and stuff like that. Just keep them all in one place. Right, most of this is going to be clothes and most of this is just going to be straight into my wash bag. My nice dress for wearing when I was in towels. Some socks. Cap, this is for... I'm going to have to get a new one of these, it's monkey. But I hate wearing sunglasses, I much, much prefer to wear a cap to keep the sun up my eyes. Um, these are the leggings I bought from Decathlon, they're really good, I like them. Socks. I never use this. Um, I'll probably be using it this week because I'm going to Wales. It's a head net to keep the midges <laughs> out of your face. Um, is it medicated? No. Yeah, actually, it's got smidge to me by smidge. Didn't really need it because there weren't really midges. You only get a cloud of midges. That really didn't happen, but I did get a lot of mosquitoes. Uh, but that never used it. That was an upgrade on my bike clip from Tefl. Never used it. Bikini that I bought and must have wore five times, I think. Well, I was probably having it. Bra. Two bras, a sports bra. That was it. Two pairs of cycling shorts. I think they're clean. Um, a pair of like cycling underpants, <laughs> um, which I wore under my trousers, which I'll come to in a minute. Wash pair of long leggings that I bought from Decathlon, which I ended up just wearing in bed when it got cold. This is a pair of jeans that I actually bought in Amsterdam to wear the cities to wear when I was not riding my bike. 10 euros from HM. <sighs> this is my 360 camera. I'm gonna upload one video that I made with it, but if you go on my Instagram, I've got lots of pictures I took with it, and that is what I use to keep the lens safe and all fingerless glove um i'm glad to took that with me i you i did enjoy using it uh, head band thing also a buff that you put around your neck I only wore that a couple of times when it was raining to keep my hair dry that's for my other pair of cycling shorts i took shorts both times i only got one pair of bib but i just took shorts because it's obviously easy to get changed and out of and stuff and go to the toilet in and they're both either old or little ones and they were fine t-shirt from decathlon wet bag with what i know is inside get your clothes get your underwear um the t-shirt that i said i was going to throw away when i started buying more t-shirts from decathlon which is my key but i slept in it and i just can't throw anything away because i hate waste you need top this was a bit of waste of space and time. I took a high-vis vest. I only wore it once um, when I went to Decathlon in the moor. I had to ride across a horrible, horrible junction and I was terrified. Um, so the rest of the time it was a big waste of space. You never saw anybody. I was not on roads, hardly ever. I was hardly ever had to share the road with traffic on my entire journey. Um, but if you did, and, it, and it was always light as well, didn't cycle after dark. So I'll probably take next time I'll probably take just you know like some straps or something like that, some high vis straps. Bit of a week. That was a waste of space. Nothing else. I don't regret taking anything else. That's a vest which is gonna all horrible and stretchy and won't run because it's kind of our sports bra. Good things in here, I forgot even knows. This is a dress I bought in Stuttgart from HM. I really like because I was needing more city clothes. This is a cotton dress. Needs, needs an iron obviously but I generally found that I put it on about an hour before I went out because it's more or less felt I was <laughs> little tub of um, washing up not washing up liquid laundry detergent for when I was doing my laundry I got that in a Rosman um, in Germany and it's about 70p I was made up because they charge you about £2.50 in some campsites and this, this was a waste of space some instant noodles that I bought possibly in France possibly on my like third or fourth day and I never got to the state but I was desperate enough to eat beef flavour instant noodles which is quite a success 
I carried them 2,000 miles with me. Um, there's just loads of bits of paper at the bottom of this now. Uh, undies, undies, swimming costume, which I took and wore, which is just really hard to get changed in out of when you're in public, <laughs> which I was. Some little socks. Oh yeah, another vest, another black vest that I bought from Decathlon. There's about five or six changes of clothing, I think. Um, I wore most things at least twice and I generally, um, I probably did a wash about every eight to nine days, I'd say. Sounds about right. A little um, tripod for me for phone, which I only used about once. Um, so that's basically it. It has got a little pocket inside. Oh yes, this is my journal, which I kept religiously while I was away. And I've kept a few like little... I didn't want to carry much around me but I have kept a few souvenirs, maps and stuff like that from the journey. Oh. Basically it. Um, last thing. Oh no, I've got two more things to go. Um, this little bag on the front is a wash bag from um, Sports Direct. And I strap it on with two what they call Velcro straps that are loose. I've, kept lo I've got spare ones of these actually, but they do just come out. I should really sew them on. And what I keep in here is, so I've got a Dynamo Hub and I've actually disconnected the charger now to it, but I've put the USB charger in it and I can connect it, disconnect it. So there's a cable going from here. Videos <laughs> on with sticky tape as everything is on this bike, and um, so yes, yeah, so then I would plug my phone, my GPS device, anything that needs charging into that, put it in there. It's more or less waterproof, um, but I did like stuff it with plastic bags and stuff if it was really really heavy rain because can get through in through this um, zip. Um, there's my gloves that I started off wearing religiously because I get numbness in my hands quite a lot. Um, and then I actually realised I think it was the gloves that were making my hands numb because when I stopped wearing them, it got better. And <laughs> the only thing was because I stopped wearing the gloves, I've got two calluses there on my hands. But that is literally the only injury, the only ache and pain I've got from this entire journey is a little bit of skin on my hands. Spare electrical tape, spare real light. The battery pack I've got an, I bought a new battery pack while I was away because this is meant to hold about five charges and it doesn't and it takes about 48 hours to charge. Um my USB front light. Yeah, so basically all my electronics stuff would go in here. Um the bag I bought from Scathlon on the first day when I was in Bruges holds hold my phone i started putting it started off by being my haribo pocket but then i had to like draw a line and stop buying haribo all the time because it's not like i'm doing great big insurance rides i can't get i can't just eat a pound of haribo a day oh there's my keys so my keys are in there that's where my keys are um this originally lived this compass lived on my bum bag um but it fell off <laughs> but i kept it a cafe lock, which is really, really useful just for quickly locking up your bike. Um, but you've got to remember you put it on your bike and then don't try and ride off with it. Otherwise, you will break it like I did. So, yeah, my phone kept in there. And it meant that I could just I could keep it charging. I could keep it charging while I was riding. And it's so handy to have it there. It's, it's like having it in your, your pocket. You can just get it out. You know, I started filming when I was riding. This here, hand over my address is the package that I sent home to myself. It's got home office border for us tape around it. Um, it's basically three pairs of woolly socks that I didn't need because it was a pretty heat wave while I was over there. Um, and my camera, open it. Yeah, I went cam, I did this type of thing. I did a sort of bike tour and holiday last year in Wales for about 12 days. Um, I didn't take any clothing or socks that covered my body between my knee and my ankle and my feet were cold the whole time so this time I took loads and loads of warm socks with me oh my arm warmers as well um, sent them home 
yeah, they were just taking up space, so I sent them home. This camera, I love, love, love this camera. It's got a 20 times optical zoom lens. It's really, really good, and it's Android. So it's um, if you're on Wi-Fi, I can upload things straight to Instagram, straight to YouTube, Facebook, all things like that. But um, it was just another thing to keep charged. I wasn't using it very much, and it was getting a little bit. It's quite an old camera. It's about seven or what. It's old by nowadays terms. It's about seven or eight years old. It's getting a bit temperamental. So I sent it home and then I regretted it because as soon as I sent it home I saw loads of interesting things to this week's. And I also sent home the pair of socks I am in the middle of knitting. So it doesn't look like the border force of taking anything out of that. Um, right, so the last few things I have with me that I brought home with me yesterday. This is the little backpacks of the three pounds in the Um I needed it because it's waterproof and when I was going around Amsterdam. Oh yeah, so I had, this usually went in my camping and things. That is my cosmetic, well it's not all cosmetics, the only makeup I actually took with me was this concealer stick and some liquid eyeliner. But it's got my toothpaste, my toothbrush, type of thing in there. My overnight bag, I suppose. This pair of trousers, these hiking keks just caramel um zip off ones so they were dead useful to have they could be shorts they could be i, I wore them with shorts 99 percent of the time but could zip trousers onto them which is size 14 and i'm not a size 14 anymore i don't know what i am but they are huge on me to be honest so um <sighs> t-shirt that I bought from decathlon the bottom of those trousers um it's my other charge yeah there's not more interesting in here actually that is my other charger power battery pack which is actually really good to get like four or five charges out of that um i don't know where it is but there should be a bum bag um hopefully it doesn't leave it on the boat and Last time I went to Wales, I put my phone in my bum bag and it was like having a jersey pocket. I could just keep, keep my phone on me at all times, really quick to get out, to take a quick picture. Um, but this time, because I had that, I didn't really need it. So I, ended up, I kept my purse and my passport, don't worry, I put my passport in my um, jersey pocket, in my bum bag all the time. But when did I, I never, the purse only had small change in it. And, um, the passport obviously I never needed, so it was a bit of a that was a bit of a waste. I wouldn't have done that next time. I wouldn't take a pass. I wouldn't take a bum bag again. Um, speaking of which, I need. To, oh, it's probably just in the pocket there. Yeah. So that was it. That's everything. And this little bag. Oh no! One more thing is my shoes. Just take the smelly socks out and put them in the washing. These hiking boots were about 25 quid from Sports Direct. I know with Sports Direct I absolutely get and hate them, but until I get more money, I'm going to have to shop there. Um, and they're waterproof, so um, I had to walk through a lot of grass. Even on a hot day, you know, in the morning the grass is wet. You get my feet nice and dry. There's only like two occasions, I think, when I got drenched, proper drenched, where the water was running down my legs, where the spray was coming off the road, and they did get wet, and I had to wait for them to dry. But they've been dead comfy. Don't even stink too bad. <laughs> um, walked miles and then did quite a bit of hiking in them as well. They're really, really good. I don't clip in, as I've said in the bike uh, video. Got toe straps or whatever they call them, which are good for just getting you pedaled back into position, but I don't clip in and I don't ever want to clip in again, to be honest. So, yeah, that <laughs> is everything. Better tidy it away now. Um, any questions ask me in the comments i'll happily answer your questions um i there's nothing i really missed there's nothing i would other than the bum bag i don't think there's anything i'd really do differently next time i was really lucky because i did go at the best time of year i went july to august june to august sorry so i didn't need a lot of warm clothes i didn't need a big sleeping bag i did it on easy level so yeah and the best thing I had bought was that hammock. Okay, thanks for watching. Look at this mess, I've got to clean up. I forgot something. This is another one of my bargain buys. I think I paid about 17 quid either on Amazon or eBay for it. Um, 
and it came from China and I had to buy an extra, extra, maybe triple extra large. Um, I thought I might have used it as a pillow, but it is. If you look at some of my videos, you'll see me wearing it. It's a down jacket. Um, it's got real down inside it, so it is warm as anything. It's not completely waterproof. Um, but so I've not brought like a hoodie or anything with me because they just take up too much room. I wear a lot of hoodies when I go camping and things like that. But um, yeah, so that worked as a hoodie. It's a zip up jacket. It's got inside and outside pockets. It was really, really useful. And I think there was one or two nights I actually wore it in my sleeping bag when I got really, really cold. That was absolutely indispensable and it was one of the best things I bought. Bye now.